Once in a while, we need to connect a field in an access table to another field in the same table. We might need to correlate items within one table to each other. The problem is the program won't normally let us do this. As you can see in this open database, we can set up a query with the table of employees. Let's say the employees want to make sure of who their supervisors are. We can insert the fields for first name and last name in the query grid. But if we want to have a field talk to another field in the same table, the employee ID number, let's say, to the supervisor ID number, uh, the program gives us a no-can-do if we try to drag from one to the other. Even though the fields are the same data type and length, which are the requirements, it won't work. The solution is to use a cheat, which even some experienced users don't know about. We can create something called an alias. We can add another instance of the same table to the query and have the program pretend it's another table, which will allow the connection. To start the process, we can open the Show Table dialog box from the Query Tools Design tab. We can double-click or otherwise bring the table of employees, in this case, into the query a second time, and then close the dialog box. It's considered a good idea to rename the alias that way we know what it's there for, what it's doing. If we click on its name and then again go up to the Query Tools Design tab and turn on or bring up the property sheet, we can go over here and change the alias to whatever we want. Let's say call it the Table of Supervisors. We can hit the Tab key, glance over to make sure that the name took, and then close the property sheet. Once we've got the second instance of the table, the alias, in place, we can drag from the supervisor field in the first instance to the employee ID field in the second instance, and the table will connect just fine. Finally, we can go ahead and add the field we really want, which would be the supervisor's last name, to the grid by dragging, double-clicking, or however else. We can then save the query, make sure we don't lose what we've just done, and of course we can run it. We now have the names of the supervisors for each of our employees. Again, the only carved in stone requirements are the same as always. The two fields have to be the same data type and length. After the connection is made, we can go ahead and correlate whatever from both tables. But this particular loophole is kind of subtle, so don't be surprised if you weren't aware of it.